Absolutely stunning. The best fuzzy in Patong. By far. Right above that mountain up there is an Air Force build communications place. This is Tin's place. He's got a hotel right down there in the middle of the jungle. Pretty, very pretty. Went to see it yesterday. I'm going to see him tomorrow. He's going to show me the rooms and we're talking about some uh, doing a video of his hotel aerial stuff and photography. This is one of hundreds, if not in Thailand, thousands of building sites that have stopped. Um, and, uh, everywhere, everywhere, all over the place, buildings half half built and stopped because the tourism industry sort of died. We're not we're here for a different reason today. Um, we're going to do a little test on parabolic um, range extenders. Still, people doubt it. I don't know why they doubt it. I really don't. I, I mean, I've had a lot of drones, DJI drones, and they worked every single time on every single drone, even OkiSync and the uh, sophisticated Phantom 4 Pro 2. They worked an absolute treat every time, not massively at all. No, not massively, but a lot. It's hard to say. 25%, 30%, something like that. But yeah, I mean, this looks good, looks like a jungle. Below that canopy are lots of residents. And as I said, half built structures, so the steel frames are there. They're in Thailand, it's a system of open power lines. They're everywhere. So the Wi Fi is bouncing around up here, everywhere, all right, right around, thick with. Wi-Fi system, so you're going to get, I get failures after 100 meters, you know, I get, and um, so I don't intend to fly far with this little thing, it's not meant to fly far, it might help with the battery in it, it's just meant for close work, close, and you can use it as a professional tool, it's not a toy. So, let's use the phone for the moment, just to show you quickly uh, the effect of the parabolic range extender. They're not the ideal ones, they flop about a bit because they're designed for the Phantom series. They worked on a Phantom 3 standard for me, which is Wi-Fi, they worked on a Phantom 2 Pro. Phantom uh, 4 Pro version 2 and they worked on uh, the Mavic, the original Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro 2. Um, so in every, every, in every time, not just once, but every time, they've, they've helped the, um, the range. I'll put it over here because if I switch it on over the bench here, it would have asked me for to, re, to recalibrate the compass because there's so much metal around. And this is the thing with the um, see this metal all, all this metal here and under the under the concrete as well. It's everywhere. <coughs> all this concrete is reinforced, so it's got to have uh, perhaps not all of it, but a lot of it. It's got steel reinforcement in it which you pick up, which is why sometimes you put it on a road and it tells you you need metal because there's metal underneath it. Okay, so there we go. We're about ready to fly. I'll take the little thing up and I'll show you. Now I think the uh, Mavic Mini is the quietest drone of all DJI drones. Not perhaps taking off, but you get it 100 meters away. 200 meters, and they're hard to hear. They are hard to hear. Just about hear it now, and um, uh, I'm not even 100 meters away. I'm 90 meters away, and I cannot hear that drone. Okay, and I've got no interference. 
You can see that. Got no interference. So let's push it. Let's point the aerial right out to give it the best chance for reception. Point it down a bit so. Yeah, let's point it down so that we don't get so much glare off there. This is an awesome camera, by the way. My goodness, it is. It is an awesome camera. I love it. It's like a GoPro. Everything's in focus. You, you know, they've deliberately not made it so you can mess with the settings. And uh, I'll take it just above the horizon so you, I can see it. Don't know where they, oops, some other people. See, it's responding very well at the moment to my movement there. Just turned it around so I can see where it is. I can still see it quite clearly at 300 meters. <laughs> Normally, it's by 300 meters, I'm getting issues. I can see it with the naked eye, probably not with a camera. I can see it quite clearly, just above the horizon, above that little island. There's a little island right at the end of the peninsula there. The drone is just above, to the left of that. Okay, there's a further little island out there. Never noticed that one was at the ship. There are 30 or 40 ships out there on that uh, horizon. You don't see them in the day. At night time, they're all lit up with green lights. Tourists. Um, we're at 310 metres then. 310 metres. Let's take... Ooh, where are you, where are you? We don't want to go over the city. Over people again. Damn. The GoPro switches its screen off after a while. I'm right over the island now. Damn, sorry about that. Oof. Don't like flying over. The risk of it falling down. Oh, I've lost connection. It's not responding to my... Um, there, see it jump? I'm at three. This is the furthest I've got. Isn't it? They come for a test to tell you how bad it is and it's damn good. Well, it's not good, but it's the best. I've actually lost the... I can't see the aircraft. I think it's... Where is it? It's not responding to my things at all, look. Okay, I can see it now. I'll just put these um, parabolic uh, things on. Range extenders, they're big and floppy because they're for the Phantom and they're dirty. Oh, sorry. Ooh, ouch. So there we are. And uh, do we have connection? I'll, I'll move it up and down. Down, straight away. See, I've got immediate control over it. Immediate. What a difference. What a massive difference. Well, I said it was over the island. Yeah, it is over the island. I'll drop it down to almost the, uh, just above the, oh, just above the sea. Around. And um, turn it around so you, there's no chance you'll be, ah, oh, there's a bit of lag there. A bit of lag. Yeah, there is definitely a lag. But I'm way out. I'm at 391 metres, which is better than I've ever had. It's responding quite well. I'll take them off. Hold them in the same position. And nothing happened. Again, to the left, nothing happened. Signal is lost. And it tells me off. It gives me a telling off. Go home. Oh, by the way, it's got a fantastic go home function. Worked every time. I see it put on, I've got immediate control. I could even stop stop it. And return. Did you see that where it said insufficient power? What it means is is insufficient power to keep it sta stable as you direct it to be, or we'll tell it where to go. I can't see it now. I'd rather see it. I don't like not seeing it. I hate that. Let's bring it back. See how well it's responding now? Perfect response. Really huge difference. Not a small difference. It is not a small difference. It is a big difference. And it happens every single time. Okay, now it happens with me. In science, we call it induction. I've induced from my experience an extrapolator that it happens all the time. Science is, does not work on induction. It works on deduction. So you've got to take the data from every possible angle. 
There we have it. I hope there's going to be a lot of reflection on this. is a bit not very professional, I know, but you, you get the gist. You get the gist. It's responding perfectly. Now let's go into sports. This is one of the things I love about. I love, I love a lot of things about this. But watch this here. Eh? This is awesome. You probably know about it. I've just gone into sports mode. Gone into this fantastic cine mode. It is so smooth. I've never known a camera be so smooth. When you pan on that setting, that cinematic setting, it is incredibly good. Really good. Hitting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was going to say, I've never had that before. It's because I've got these on. There you go. Right, let's um, still see it. Let's go up. No response. Down. Ah, there is a response, but it's very much lagging. Let's go down. Now response. Few seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 4, 1,000, 5 second delay. Let's put that on. Yeah, so the inducted, the scientific term in deduction. It's just. It's just getting now while I put these on. Find it in the sky. I see it in the sky. Right. Come on, keep your screen on, GoPro. I know you're getting hot. Right, down. There's a slight delay. Up. There's a slight delay still. Oh, let's get them pointing. Let's get the gimbal down. Pretty good. Up, pretty good. Down, pretty good. Off. Down, no response. Respond slowly now. Up. So they make a huge difference. There's no question whatsoever. And I just defy anybody to say that it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to point them. I'm going to point them straight at it. Uh, we're just above the highest mountain. I don't think the GoPro will pick it up. This is an awesome camera on this GoPro 7. Even better on the 8. A brilliant camera. An absolutely brilliant camera, the GoPro. Incredible stabilisation. Incredible quality. Every time. Everything's in focus. It's beautiful. And the camera on this little drone is almost as good. They're very similar, you know, in many ways they're similar. They sort of, they auto-correct everything, the light and the colour textures and and the focal points and... It's as if this took a GoPro camera inside there. I'll bet if you put a GoPro on it, have the settings the same, I bet you would get very similar... Uh, um, quality. No, I think obviously the GoPro is going to be better, but that's a damn good camera on that little little bloody drone. Damn good camera. Okay, there we are. A tin place. Thank you, Tin, for letting us in. Saw me at the bottom of the gate. He said, go on ahead, John. I'll lock the gate. And can you get around it? Yeah, no worries. Off you go.